Oh, hello there. Yes. Well, suddenly it's Friday again. Suddenly another week is over. Suddenly another bit of July has gone. Suddenly another bit of my life is no longer there. Oh, yes. Anyway, today, oaths of allegiance to uh, His Majesty the King in Parliament. Yeah, they're still swearing in peace because there's bleeding loads of them. Anyway, what they have to do is uh, swear an oath of allegiance to the King, which, um, as you might believe, does present some problems for some people. Anyway, the wording, just to quote the parliamentary uh, uh, website, link down below, I swear by Almighty God that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to His Majesty King Charles, his heirs and successors, according to the law, so help me God. Now, you are allowed to choose your particular uh, religious trope if you want to, or none at all, if that's your fancy. Um, however, right, OK, you know, um, you can see that that might cause some problems. Oh, by the way, you're also allowed to say it in a number of different languages, like Gaelic and Cornish. I know, what's the world coming to? But, of course, some of the usual suspects are a little bit unhappy about this. And, um, well, you know, that whole sort of thing about people not really understanding history or, indeed, sort of ideas of democracy or, indeed, any notion of real tolerance. So, yesterday we had Noel Garner, who, uh, Gardinia, um, who is um, a man that once sat next to uh, Margaret Thatcher. So he absorbed Thatcherism through a kind of osmosis thing by sitting close to her. And now he's travelled to speak at the Heritage Foundation, yeah, them again, in um, in in America. And he's going to offload some of those um, the stuff, apparently. Yeah, anyway, he sat next to Margaret Thatcher. Astounding, isn't it? Anyway, he said, Why are so many Labour MPs so rude and lacking in basic manners? Because Clive Lewis objected to this notion of basically swearing an oath of allegiance to the king. And you can see basically why. I mean, supposing the guy's a nutter. All right, OK? Yeah, he might talk to plants or something. And no, we shouldn't have to do it in this modern age. So he prefaced his oath-taking, because you have to take the oath, um, with a few words, and of course Null was very unhappy about that. But what of course Null doesn't know, even though he sat next to Margaret Thatcher, was that at times in the past, one of the reasons why we've had these rule changes about things is because MPs have not been able to take their seats. Um, Jewish MPs back in the mid-1800s had problems with sharing and swearing an oath uh, on the Bible, as it had to be in those days, and therefore couldn't sit. So we changed the rules, Niles. We accepted that democracy might call for that. No, you're not a fan. Anyway, leaving the side view, I mean, so easy, isn't it? Anyway, I mean, various people do kind of get this. So you have Fraser Nelson, who's sort of like saying about, you know, people um, saying uh, the oaths in uh, Gaelic or indeed in Cornish, as they're allowed to do. But then we end up with the bigot corner um, and we end up with for fire. Calvin Robinson, yes, him. He sits, well, not quite exactly next to God, but he certainly sits next to Jesus. Anyway, why do we allow this? How is it legal? Yes, they're allowing brown women that aren't Christian into Parliament. Dreadful. Members of the Parliament swearing swearing in by the name of Allah, holding a Quran. Our monarch is not allowed to marry a Catholic, yet we have Mohammedans in Parliament. Something is amiss. This is a Christian country. No, it isn't, Calvin. Okay, we established that very much and very forcibly at the last census. You can call it a Christian country as much as you like, mate. But you are a firm believer, along with all the other people that are firm believers, in invisible sky people. Now, you fervently believe that your invisible sky person is definitely real and all the other ones aren't, which is fine. However, I believe that all invisible sky people are not real. Why do we have to swear on invisible sky people things? Doesn't make any sense. We're no longer a Christian country, Calvin. We shouldn't have to worry about those things. And why being so upset about one particular type of religion? Why not be upset about all them Jews? And the answer is, that's not the way that that works. Because when you're a bigot, you have to really choose to be picky about it. And not have a broad sort of blanket thing, yeah? Because, of course... Friar Calvin can't be as much of a bigot as other people because he's the wrong colour. When it comes down to it, that's a bit of a problem. Still, you know, he can moan as much as he likes because, you see, I believe that people should be voted into Parliament as members of... of, of um, 
as MPs and uh, they should represent their constituents in all sorts of different ways. So, for example, if their constituents don't really want to have children, they should be allowed to do that. Or if they want to kiss somebody who's got the same basic genitalia as them, they should be allowed to do that. You see, Friar Calvin doesn't believe that. And out of the two of us, I think one of us believes in democracy and the other one doesn't. Because one of us, Mr. Mr. Invisible Sky People person, wants to wants us to live in a live in <laughs> live in a state whereby his view and his invisible sky person makes all the rules and he'll tell us what they are. Yes, so if you're a woman, you can have babies. And if you're a man, you mustn't kiss another man because his invisible sky person will cry at that. Yes, and then they'll send the boys around to basically do away with you because that's the other aspect of his particular version of democracy. He's very keen on it. Anyway, enough of this slagging off of people that have no knowledge of basic tolerance or indeed decency or indeed history, for God's sake, okay? What's wrong with just, you know, swearing to do your job? Why do you have to be on a bleeding goblin or a ghost or a ghoulie or indeed God? Don't know. Anyway, answers on a postcard. Um, I'm sure someone out there will take offence at what I've had to say because... um, well, why not? It beats it beats having an opinion, doesn't it? Anyway, do enjoy. <laughs>